Hi! Welcome to Tune In Tuesdays with Tim! Yay, it's Tuesday! Ah. Um, thankfully, the Super Bowl is finally out of my state because it wreaked havoc on our roadways. Now, let's get to the important part of the Super Bowl, the music it brought. And we had a ton of stars in state. I got to see Kat Dahlia for a free show, uh, thanks to Pepsi, and it was great. She did awesome. It was raining, so it was my first show I've ever stood out in the rain for. <laughs> Um, uh, she was good though. I got to hear a lot of songs that we uh, enjoyed from her new album. I got to hear My Garden, which is the most important part. And then we also got to see Ingrid Michaelson on Friday, which I'm a huge fan and I was so bummed that I missed her on her last tour here and got to hear some of her new tracks and some old ones. And she was a fucking pleasure as usual. <laughs> Uh, so funny. If you get a chance to go see her live, go do it because she's definitely worth it. It's like half comedy show, half live music. And then of course the halftime show, right? Go lion, gonna show me where the light is. And I actually really liked the lion. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool looking. Her outfits were absolutely terrible for the most part. Her second one was pretty good, but that fire thing and the whole girl on fire, I look like Guy Fieri deal wasn't doing it for me. It entertained, and that's her sole purpose. She's a pop singer. I'm not expecting this introspective moment from her during the Super Bowl, okay? She's gonna bring her heads and she's gonna bring them hard. I also have to thank her for bringing Missy Elliott out. Three of Missy Elliott's songs are now in the top 10 in iTunes, which is a big deal, seeing as she hasn't put anything out in several years. Her crew is on, on fleek, if you will. Oh, I was really happy to get to see her. Uh, Lenny Kravitz probably could have had a little more time, but for whatever reason it was cut short. Overall was, um, happier with the halftime show than I thought I was gonna be. And of course, the sharks. I mean, that's the whole thing. I like live for those sharks now. So apparently, uh, Jamie Hewlett, which is half of the Gorillas with Damon Albar on Instagram, that the Gorillas were getting back together, so that's uh, a decent piece of musical news. Suge Knight, a uh, very old hip-hop mogul, um, was just recently convicted of murder. Uh, apparently he ran over two people in a parking lot. He said he was fleeing from an attempted assault or murder on their part. Uh, I'm sure there will be an investigation. We'll find out, but he has had many brushes with the law before, so I don't know how many more lives he has in regards to that. So for my three tunes this week, um, I'm gonna bring to you another Aussie. This Aussie lady has been featured on some tracks with Flume before. She's a good voice. Uh, very suited for the type of music she does. She dubs it future pop. I would definitely say it's uh, worth a listen if you like Banks. Kind of has this ambient, folky feel in the beginning, and then out, out of nowhere, when she's about to drop the chorus, this thumping, like, electronic beat kind of pumps in. It does everything I want it to do. But that's my track number one, George Maple, Vacant Space. Next, we have Years and Years, who actually just released their EP today. They're an electronic indie pop outfit uh, from the UK. It's called Real, and it is awesome! It's like perfect electronic pop. Like, love it. The rhythm is fun, kind of dancey, like I could definitely see some dance pieces being done to it. There's claps in it, so once I heard those claps, I was sold. But uh, let me know what you guys think of it below. Real years and years. Then finally, I have Ellie Lawson, who I've been listening to for pretty much a decade now, actually. <laughs> Fantastic writer, songwriter. She has this crazy voice, it's very accessible, so she does a lot of runs with it. Um, someone to listen to more than just this song. This song is called That Day, and it is kind of Jagged Little Pill Alanis. You can tell someone did her wrong, because there's some anger in this song, but the melody in it is really fun with the guitar. It's kind of fun to sing with. I've probably been binging on that the most this week, but that's my third choice for you guys, is Ellie Lawson, That Day. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoy. Um, and remember to like, comment, subscribe to The Weekly Bitch. Uh, we do videos all the time. Anthony does a social commentary called Anthony's Assessment on Saturdays. We have The Weekly Bitch release on Sundays where we just talk about shit. And then every Tune In Tuesday, you have time with me uh, to go over some music industry news, some releases, and some jams I'm listening to currently. So uh, let me know what you guys are up to and listening to, and I will give them a lesson and maybe review them. Who knows? Who knows? So what? Who knows? So thank you very much, and bye!